Hey tankers, Bonsai Duck here. Today we have GA Johnny in his Brigetto 46. He is on steeps in a standard battle in a 357 tier 9, tier 8, tier 7 game. Johnny, loved the paint job. Really like that festive atmosphere you've got on the Brigetto. That paint job fits that tank nicely. Johnny spawned over here in the uh, north east side and looks like he is headed over here to the east side and let's go with him Johnny you're falling back a little bit not quite sure where you plan on going but we'll follow you looks like you're gonna head up to the hill okay looks like pretty much all the mediums have decided to come this way maybe a heavy but the other heavies have moved over to take the uh, Lack of a better word, River Road. Uh, I got some shots. Uh, you've spotted some things, but no shots yet. At this point, what I would do is I'd be out like this, zoomed out like this. There's no sense in being zoomed in like this when you can't see the whole field. And there are going to be plenty of things that you can shoot from, shoot at, right? So I would I would be out like this where I could be at him. If he pokes out there, maybe you, can, you know get around and get a snapshot on him. If they can poke down here, then you're going to be able to see them. If somebody pokes over there, you're going to see them because you're seeing the whole field of view. All right, just just some some words of advice. There you go. Now nope, you've zoomed out. You zoom back in. Okay. Now what do we got? Let me see. There's two five two, but you really can't see even what's going on in the battle because you zoomed in so bad. Chiree looks like he's going to mess with the 1375. Here comes the 252. I'm not sure what. Uh, T44. There you go. Auto aim down to him. Fire. Now he's down. All right, but you got spotted. So time to fall back on the reload. That's good. Now you got two in the kit, two in the shoe shells in. T44. And 252U. Oh, there's another tank. There's a Black Prince over there. He's behind a hill. That 252, he's going to get a shot on you if you stay up on top of that hill. At this point, I think what I would also do is I would move down. Move down in here. You start using the speed and the maneuverability and get up there and help your Chiree and your 44 and your and your Prima Victoria uh, because they're moving and now you're behind them. So you can't really get damage from behind. Uh, I know that based upon the meta and a lot of games that uh, you're finding a lot of camping teams and I know it's hard to, to adjust and you know figure out, okay, is it time to go, time not to go? But this is time to go. This is time to, to, you know, hit the gas and, and get moving. There's only two tanks over there that we know about. And you guys could easily take that Black Prince out of the game. And then I'll be getting up on the 252. There is a 152 back there apparently now. Don't swing out too wide. There you go. Get a shot on him. Get a shot on him. He's going to fire at you. Alright. Fired all three. Fall back. Reload. Change position. Either push up, get in that little niche. There you go. Don't sit there and hang out for him. Yeah, I'd get up there with that 257. I wouldn't have come up the hill that way, but uh, okay. Right up through here, right up in here is a nice little low area where you can kind of come up and still be kind of hauled down. Coming up this way, you've got to come up so far before you can bring your gun down to bear on that Black Prince. Not to mention that over here, if you did push forward, you have that hill right here to protect you. All right. You gave up on the, on the Black Prince, and now you're heading over here for the 152, and now we got an AMX AC over here. I don't 
don't know if you're having some computer or mouse issues, but you're, you're, it's awfully jerky. He gets a shot into you, you get a shot into him. AMC's behind the rocks over there. Alright, now you got the 252 and a T44 pushing down on you guys. You gotta keep going. Your team's pushing forward. You gotta get in there. Right, he's bounce off the top of the 252. Primo Victoria is behind the rock. The 44 is moving in on the AMX. I might have pushed on the AMX with the T44 too. There's really not enough room back there for you and that Primo. Come around behind them. There you go. There you go. You, you, you're squeezing these guys into a small area where they have no room for fighting. Alright. There's a T44 back there. Getting bumped by somebody. Alright. Now you can get in behind these guys. Shot into the back of that AMX AC. Primo and everybody's up on top. I got a P43 tier coming in behind you. There goes a shot from him. Another shot that just missed you. Alright. So you guys have taken care of everybody on this flank. Alright. You have some folks back headed back towards your base. Is always a good idea. There's ABR over there, there's an STI or an ST1. Right. It's four of your tanks, so it's you and the Chiree, because the other four decide to go after the 430 and the P43. So your damage, he's got 10% life left. That STI, he's more interested in your TDs and your and your already up there. Uh, you got a T49 over there too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I might go after the EBR first unless you get a good shot on that STI or ST1. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. There's a shot. There's a miss. There's a no hit, no penetration. Get behind the hill. You're out no you're wide out and open. There's a hit. Uh, EBR is lighting you up. Or LTT. Oh, it's a Leo. Yeah, that Leo's lit you up. So now that ST1's got a good shot on you. you know, yeah, I think you can start heading for it now. Just some very cautious gameplay I'm seeing from you, Johnny, and, uh, and I'm, I'm used to seeing more of aggressive, more of an aggressive play style. Um, I, I think you're just intimidated by the way teams have been lately. Um, that they're not, you, you don't know if you're going to be on a camping team or what. All right, all right, nice shot. There's that SG1. Shot in the rear. Another shot in the rear. He's behind a rock. I think at this point you could be you could be charging in there. You'd have been fully loaded by the time he got there. That turret's hard. There you go. You got the shot into it, and that's the kill. So that's a victory. All right. Master second class, duelist, and another one. I can't remember what that one is. 87,000 credits, 3,207 in experience. Team-wise, 
2,974 in damage, five kills. All right, 1,018 in uh, base experience. 20 shots, 19 hits, 15 pins, uh, 930 from 300 meters out. You got 154 in uh, assistance details. Let's see. Made some good credits. Made some good experience. All in all, not a bad game. Uh, like I said, I'm just I'm seeing a lot of hesitation in your game. Uh, you're, you're hanging back. You're hanging back. You're hanging back. Um, you know, you're picking up kills. Don't get me wrong, because you're you're jumping in and getting the the, the almost deads. Um, you know, you you it's a good game. I just think I see the the, the hesitation, uh, cautious aggression. Uh, you know, sometimes you're gonna you're gonna get on a team and they're just gonna let you down and you're gonna die and and it's it sucks and it's terrible. Uh, but I try not to ever fall back to the point where I'm chasing the battle. I always try to be at least really close to the to the head of to the lead of the battle so that I'm getting the damage. So, uh, just some words of advice. Uh, anyway, that's uh, G A Johnny from the W C T N T clan in his Pergetto 46 on steeps in a standard battle. If you like it, hit the like button. Thank you for all your support and keep those videos coming. This is Bonsai Duck out.